Last time on Real Life and Philanthropy. This is back on the food. Yeah, so that is part of it. Yeah, so you can put push your foot to the food. Jari is a fashion designer. He has a sense of um, direction when it comes to photo shoot. This is his field. Um, and I was happy to be a part of this moment. What do you think of some, what ideas do you have around, honestly, like what do you think we should do? Slaying hair may be my passion, but I will slay a bitch if I need to. I'm like a bottle of pure for men because I'm always clearing shit. I may be the newbie on the block, but my roots run deep in Atlanta. Even if you copy, cut, paste, you still couldn't imitate. I'm far from a maid, but if you come for me, I will clean house. I had no intentions to put my hands on him, but I'm that's one thing about me. I'm not gonna let somebody get this close to me and be bitch this, bitch that, bitch this, and then he had all that shit around his mouth and like he was foaming at the mouth and shit. Like I went with all that. Girl, move. Move, give me 10 feet, move. At that point when y'all see him not fight back, you don't think to retreat? You got a lot of this, so you better have a lot of these. So you was doing a whole lot of this, so these need to match. That's, that's all I'm gonna have to say. Like, you can't be like boosty badass on the internet and then when you get in, in, in the field, you wanna act like fucking Taylor Swift, no. We're not doing that. So you had all that to say, so I'm like, I'm here. I didn't have nothing to give. I didn't have no fight in me. <laughs> Baby, I... <laughs> Baby, I was just like, listen, I... Take them spirits that you done brought with you and go now. Cause I'm not gonna keep holding these folks again back against you. Just go. Just go. I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm trying to help you. Go ahead and do it and take them spirits with you. Come on, Malik. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go. The devil don't want. You wanted the devil to win. The devil don't want. You want to come like the big bad wolf and got chopped down uh, like the piglet you are by uh, Nara, his boyfriend. You can't, again, provoke someone and say that I don't know this person. You here because of me. It's because that's what we got. Now, again, I don't condone violence. However, he got what he deserved. Don't speak on someone's name and then expect someone to just react. Somebody 
that looked like Cordell <laughs> came out of nowhere and hit Malik. Next thing I know, I see Malik on the ground, him and uh, Malik's on the ground in the fetal position, eating dirt, and Nard is on top of him, and they getting into it, they getting into it. Um, now, normally, I would break up a fight. Normally, in this group, I would kind of be the peacemaker. I've tried to be the peacemaker in past seasons. If that ain't work out so well, y'all said I was riding a fence. So, hey. I'm going to let the cards lay where they may, and they just start having to be with Malik in the fetal position, crying for whoever can help. Go ahead and do it, because you want him to beat you. I command it in the name of Jesus. No, take that demon go. Go. Take it with you in the name of Jesus. No, take it. I'm not going to stop it. Let me go. I'm not going to stop it. Did you feel like they jumped you? Yeah, do they feel like they jumped me? They also, I mean... <laughs> It was two of them, it's one of me. <clears throat> and be clear, like, I pulled up by myself, like, it was, I'm like, girl, I got a bottle, I'm coming to pull up on these girls, like, I know these people, so, like, no, I did not expect that to happen. Do you feel like Malika was jumped in that situation? I do feel like he was jumped. Cause I feel like even if one person hit somebody and they stop hitting them and somebody else turn around and hit them again and then y'all go together, it's giving jumpish to me. It was more like tag team, not double team. It was like, cause a lot of people was holding me and our back, but I'm like Flash, let me go. I had on an oversized hoodie, I slid out the bitch. No, like. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. Like, do not hold me back, because you're going to get hurt. I don't think we jumped him, though. I still stand up there. I don't think we jumped him, because Taiwan was down on the ground, too. And y'all were sitting in, in, in the scene. Taiwan was down on the fucking ground, too. Taiwan was actually holding Cordell, so I don't even remember Cordell. Cordell probably swung him, like, one or two times. But I do remember Taiwan being down on the ground. But I was standing up on top of that bitch, and I was trying to knock his fucking face loose. Like, I was trying to knock his shit apart because I was over it. It was a jumping situation. I thought that was tired. I thought that was tired, child. I was just like, oh, girl. Like, <clears throat> not that I lost any respect for Nard or anything of that nature. I can understand the boyfriend, the ex-boyfriend, well, now ex-boyfriend situation. Because, you know, you're trying to defend your, especially because I don't know if he's the top or he's the bottom, but he definitely, the boyfriend was definitely giving me, like, the top vibes. But then the Nard could be the top because he's tall. So I don't really know, but you know, our top should come to their bottom's defense, okay? So I felt like he was gonna fight Malik on on their behalf because I don't really feel like there was any smoke that really needed to be happening between the boyfriend and Malik. It really should have just been Nard and Malik. Stop. This is not, this is not what you wanna do. I don't want to, I don't wanna put you. I know. This is what we have done, this is what they wanted. This is what they wanted. This is what they wanted. Everybody wanted a big splash. And we got it. But we it's, got it. it. But it's time to go. No, I don't have to go, go anywhere. Like, I ain't got to go. Bitch, I was just assaulted. I ain't got to go. Motherfucking bitch. Well, get your shit, then. Like, I don't have to get go nowhere. Just stop. I don't, I, I never wanted to get assaulted. No, that's assault what they wanted. I never that's wanted what, to get assaulted. No, assault that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what they wanted. Really? That's what they wanted, bro. Really? Like, that's what they wanted. Really? A big Are you bang. done? Really? Are you going to hear them out? Or? You got your moment. Right. They did, right. The moment with Malik, you But now, if you're going to stay here, then you got to talk that shit out. Are you going to talk it? Or are you going to fight it hey, out? No, I, bro, they they know me. I know what's wrong with Shut the fuck, shut the fuck up. Us. Ain't no talking shit. No, ain't no fucking Wait. stop. I felt kind of bad, at, you know, at the end of the day because I didn't want to see the boy get beat up. I didn't even know that he was coming, to be honest with you. So it was a surprise to me that, you know, after he was being, you know, a scientist because he clearly was tasting all the minerals on the ground, you know, he was really getting down in that dirt, I mean, he's got drug honey for the gods. I just looked at it and I felt so bad. And I felt like, damn, I kind of had something to do with it, but I didn't have something to do with it because it really was my fault because he knew what he was doing. So I felt like, bitch, like you need to calm down because you're making this worse, okay? I didn't want to see you see somebody put your hands on you again. 
Okay. You mean, girl, you could have came a little bit more calmer than you came. Like, how you came, you came like you was ready to fight. You didn't come like you wanted to get some understanding. I know that's what you wanted to do. But at the same time, like, it's the way you do it. And then the girl taller than you, girl, you don't never run up on a bitch that's taller than you, girl. She's six foot seven, eight. Like, child, she's too tall. And I'm like, what, all the five, six trying to break up? Like, that was too much. But I was over it because I feel like it could have really been resolved. It really could have. Like, everybody was able to talk about how they feel and express, you know, this was, I didn't say this, or this is what I thought, and this is what had happened. I feel like we could have came to an understanding. It could have been squashed, and everybody could have been cool. But I don't think nobody was at the point where they wanted to do that at that time. So that's what happened. Everybody ain't no liar. It, it, everybody ain't no liar. So you don't need but you to be that bad, 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 bad on TV. And he still want it. You want a moment that bad. He's dragging it out. You watch your ass get whooped. Y'all done been vindicated about this shit. Y'all done caught him at 16 hours since he been here. Let it go right now. OK. Now, after this shit, can't say this was <laughs> and this, this will be the That's last it. time we see Malik on this season. Uh, it's cool. This it's cool, y'all. This year. It's cool. I'm look, over. Look, now the one that's loyal to him. No, don't it's, this shit. Look, he, he even want to fight. The one that's loyal to him. Right. Jamie, you said how happy ass on that damn lawn. And said, bitch, pop that bitch in her face for me, too. I was gad. Uh, I sat down. I said, well, you know what? I'll try my, my hardest because I held Cardell back. And he let. I keep it down my grass. And that was it. But you fall tired. Like, yeah, can we please stop talking about that? Like, girl. I was drunk. If I was, I was, y'all, for the people that, yeah, he's drunk, 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 drunk. I was, I was so drunk at the park. I was drunk. No, bitch, I was drunk in Houston. Okay. <laughs> Lee. Get the motherfucker in the back or figure it the motherfucking out. Ty, get the fuck in the back. Bitch, you wanna get the fuck in this back seat? Oh, we gonna figure it the fuck out. Figure it out. I don't need to figure it out. Okay. Bitch, Ty, you wanna get the fuck in the back? Bitch, don't motherfucker fight. Get your ass in the back seat. Get the fuck in the back seat, Ty. Ty. Yeah. Do not play with me. Stop. Bitch, don't play with me. Bitch, do not play with me. Bitch, don't play with me. No, bitch, don't play with me. No, bitch. Get your ass in the back seat. Okay. Bitch, stop. I'm not motherfucking playing. I'm not motherfucking playing, bitch. Because the way I'm telling me, you don't know. Wait, hold on. Ty, come on. Wait, Ty. Okay. 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 Come on, come on, come on, bitch. Stop. I'm not jamming. Come on. Come on, come on. You want to swing? Let's swing. It's a Wait. Go for the foot. Bitch, hold on. Get your ass in the bed. Or figure the fuck out, ho. Get your ass in the bed, bitch. Get your ass in the back, ho. Don't motherfucking play, ho. Don't motherfucking play with me, bitch. I'm not playing with you. I'm not. I'm not. Ha ha ha. I'm not playing with you. Have a nice day. Let's show you who they are. Believe them. I do apologize. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Malik yourself. Step into the world of glamour with me at Double Beauty, Birmingham's one stop glam shop. Unleash your real life beauty on real life and philanthropy. Use code REALITY10 for exclusive 10% off your next purchase. Elevate your style because at Double Beauty, we're more than just beauty, we're lifestyle. See you guys soon. Hello, my name is Amari Anderson. And my name is Amon Anderson. Welcome, Welcome to, to Double Beauty. Beauty! It's more of a soul of an experience. I mean, not only can you get hair, I mean, you can get clothing, you can get accessories, you can get your teeth whitening. When you thought about a boutique, you think about like the high fashion in or 
you know, celeb. We are Alabama's number one premium glam stop. I can guarantee you, you will come in one way and leave another. And that's on period. If you fuck up with me, it'll teach you a lesson. You fuck up with me, you just fumbled your blessing. You can't decide on who you truly want. This game is over, time to turn up. I'm not the one. Usually I don't give a fuck, but you acting like I made it all up. Well, this is not what you want. You're pressing your luck. You come around and you say that you're changing, but this game is over, I'm tired of playing. Hello, everybody. The group out to. Um Get some veggies. Like we were, uh, we were picking. I was about to say cayenne. We were definitely not picking cayenne. <laughs> we were um, picking vegetables to um, give to an organization that ships out that food to like food deserts. Um, and food deserts are, you know, places to where they don't have or have little access to um, like sustainable food. So like they may not have a Kroger, they may not have a Walmart, they may not have like the bigger stores, but they have a mom and pop store, a gas station that has like snacks and stuff like that. Um, and so that organization was getting like goods together to get to those food deserts or those neighborhoods. Um, so that's the first time I've done something like that. I, I'm used to like feeding the homeless and you know going out to re reading the children, not really, but doing mentorship. So that type of giving back, it was um, it was different for me, but it was definitely definitely impactful. I'm not here for court. Uh, <laughs> I just like being giving back to the community. Jamie? Yeah, and I'm Jamie. I was sorry. I, look, <laughs> I'm trying to focus. <laughs> you really bad, don't put, um, well, what do I put it? Again, uh, yeah, just toss them. There's a bag right here. Oh, oh gotcha. Oh, I'm, I, this is my first day too. Oh. Yeah, my first time too. Yeah, this is all of our first time. The first nonprofit event that we're volunteering at was at a community garden. Um, I love to plant, um, so it was very therapeutic for me. A lot of those individuals, though, they were there for community service, but we was here to volunteer. Paolo. Um, well, also, I'm, I'm in the process of, you know, establishing my nonprofit as well. It's called MORE, which is an acronym for Men of Revived yeah. Experience. Um, it's basically going to be geared towards, you know, individuals who have, um, you know, come up in unfortunate situations where they're on the streets and need somewhere to go for some time and also to help them with job training during that process because we just don't want to give you somewhere to go off the street. We want to equip you with the tools so you can be um, self-sufficient. So, like, can... <laughs> so you can sustain so you can sustain your sustain your life after you get back right. And also it caters towards, you know, um to, to, to men that are dealing with drug addiction. You know, it, it's almost kinda gonna be like also uh basically like a rehab on wheels. We're taking the rehab to the streets. I feel like, again, another missed opportunity is what they do. I feel like when we get around and we get together where it's going to be, you know, a little mixy, you know, it's going to be a little, maybe a hint of drama. I feel like the group can show up for that. Um, but when it's time to do some actual work, some nonprofit stuff, some stuff that involves giving back, you have, you know, maybe a few people, maybe not even five, maybe about this many. And if you include me, take that away. You're going to have two people. Hey, hang on. Yeah, yeah, go pick some tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, go pick some tomatoes. 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 You don't pay to have any. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you just getting here. Oh, yeah. It was $11. Go pick some tomatoes. Wow, spicy. Do you like now, girl? If this was your community service, girl, you going to jail. Cause girl, you late to your own community service. Hell. There will be other events. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> but you, one. but you look here though. So is he gonna look. donate? Oh, uh, look. look, it doesn't matter what stand I'm not doing it. Look here, see, I don't actually live up there. If I say you anything, I can, if I say stay, hungry? I shouldn't have stayed. You huh? I didn't want to stay, but I stayed. <laughs> I ain't feel like staying. So you gonna have you gonna either feel like throw some tomatoes. <laughs> 
No. I was, I was feel like donating. Mm -hmm. Where I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> so we're at the the orange place where they like sell oranges or pumpkin patches or whatever. I just, I arrived late on purpose, child, because I was not about to put my fingers in that dirt. Okay, I'm already hanging around with some of these hoes, and that's enough dirt for me. Okay, but I see. Jamie and Apollo, I see Jamie, Darion, my two paper bitches, and then I see Apollo. Okay, first of all, I'm wondering where all the other hoes at. Okay, they didn't want to do manual living either, I guess. Apollo shared with Jamie, Bryce, and I that since the, the little tussle with Malik, Nar, and his boyfriend happened, that he feels like the energy of the group is draining. He feels like that we are supposed to be doing philanthropy work and not out here fighting. And in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, dude, you knew what you signed up for. Boy, you knew what you signed up for. That was a bit much for me with that Malik situation because like guys brought me a long way, but that, could have really went really left for me it could have really have triggered me like trying to hold people and stop people and like you know try to keep the peace and i i don't believe that i really can move forward with the group because i'm not gonna go to jail for nobody as you should and i'm not about to have a mental break for nobody because i came on this back to the group to represent myself to glorify, to testify the glory of God and what He has done for me in my life, and how He has changed me in more ways than one, and I I believe that my assignment is, is coming has come to a close mm -hmm. with the group, um, because I, I I just can't sit in the midst of that type of energy. Yeah, that type of energy. Don't stand, stand up every, unless you want to get down. Put, put me down. Don't stand up unless put you want to get down. Put me down. Guys, put me down. Don't come by Aren't and see you me. leaving? Yeah. First of all, what? Shit. shit. Apollo. Stop calling my name. You're stupid, stupid because I said you never lied in your life. You're stupid. I'm so stupid. You're stupid. I'm stupid. You're stupid. So you never lied. I would have been punched you So if face. I'm gay, I'm going to you hell. Going straight but if you lie in your you life. Don't walk away. Oh, 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 Stumble. 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 Oh, no. Stumble. Well, at least somebody's tuned into the soap opera. We didn't come here to get clout. We didn't come here to, to you know, get reality drama. We came here with the mission of showing, um, of showing philanthropy and showing that we care about our community and we want to do whatever it takes in order for us to you know, improve our communities. So the mission must be at the forefront of the minds when meeting with each other. But and I, it's I also, think that, go ahead. But it's also cause, um, called real life too. So yes, philanthropy and mission should be at the forefront. Child. But the show is not just, I mean, the platform is not just philanthropy, it's real life. But it's drama, the, it's, but if it's drama in almost everything, I mean, drama is, is cause, drama's cause, in life, cause you can't run from it. You are judging us about being on this platform as gay black men. Now, I accepted you for covering over to being a heterosexual. So I need you to love all my gay ass, but I love all your straight ass. People look at a certain lifestyle a certain way. They ain't full of nothing but drama. They just always catty. They always doing this, that, and the but third. But who can judge who? That's all I'm saying. It doesn't. But we we it's not about judgment. It it's is. A, it's, the viewers aren't judging us, but they're doing the same thing. It's about the message being being put forth it's real life and what life. type of message are you putting forth and this is a see this right here is another reason why I discontinue with the group because when truth is being spoken we're supposed to actually be a, 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 a fortress of positivity because you can't help nobody if you can't help yourself and if you you over here trying to cut everybody off at the knees like how are we gonna uplift each other because I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions that's, so that's why no because of the spirit behind it come on now I have discernment the spirit uh, behind okay, it well, I do too you like to judge other hoes 
when they when, judge other holes and other people when they do stuff, but now all of a sudden, since you got 10 minutes of Christianity, you want to sit up here and judge other people, child. You've only been saying, I, like I said, you still sucking dick. I know you still sucking dick, girl. I, I, okay. You cannot sit up here and act like you are so delivered and so holy that you're going to act like if people got some contention between each other, that if they have to get that out the way that they have to get that out, you are so holy and so beyond. As tight as you wear your pants, everybody already knows your team. I do like that you did come back <laughs> to the group. I, I did enjoy that, so. All right. Well, I'm about to go to brunch. Yeah, we're about to eat too. Well, enjoy. And he's about to go eat fried chicken and, and other places. stuff and mandarins, <laughs> whatever them things is. What is these? Fruit, hey, uh, yeah. tomato hey, food. You don't even we're know gonna, what you bought. No, but we're gonna discover it. You don't right. even know how to let them write. Whatever. And put the duration of their bite. Words, these big words today. I right? Just can't. Like, I'm I'm gonna gonna go 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 <laughs> the reason why I did not say anything is because. We had just got into it, and I know the way that this bitch was looking. He would he would do like little shots like this. Like let me show you. Let me let me, show, let me set this up. He would say what he need to say. Like he's facing this way, right? And he would say what he need to say. He'll do this. Get out! I don't want to be part of the group no more. I don't want to be part of the group no more because of the fights. And then I'm like, oh, bitch, the bitch wants. Oh, you want something from me? So he got aggravated. You could tell his spirit was bothered that I was just like girl I do, I want you to go honey you are delivered you are delivered and you are delivered from this because you wasn't um oh you wasn't um featuring that conversation at all you saw how you said off the cold <laughs> oh my blood sugar <laughs> Girl, I'm like, shut your ass up. What do you mean? I didn't, I'm just. That's the quietest I've ever seen. I, I told you, I didn't care. He, like, he didn't want nothing off the others. He didn't like that, though. Mm mm. Because yeah, if he would have said something, I would have said why. It would have been a whole exactly nother flip in the face. That's the reason why. It would have been what? a whole nother flip. This nigga's sitting right here. He's presenting. I can't keep doing it. Oh, well, he was pointing at me? No. no. I'm just saying, oh, if he would have said something that he didn't like. Oh, yeah, because I was, I was like, no, I, I, I didn't care. I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, you know. What do you say, growth? <laughs> I know, right? Hello. Look at you. you. Know. Look at you. I feel good. Sure. Thank you. I feel like you know, if I left, the group would probably miss me a lot more because I'm me. Apollo, we don't really know you. You know, that's well, that's what I think the group is gonna say. We don't really know you. The show goes on. If that was the case, why was there a conversation that needed to be just go? Just leave. Just go. Like why? Why did? <laughs> Tell production had okay, I can't do it. Um, alone. we still have jobs to do. There's shit to do. So. Yeah. It was saying like he was saying that this. this oh, we're so we're group horrible. Going, we're horrible. horrible. This, that's why I had to speak up. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. All the weather has turned. Sweater weather. Cold. It's breezy. Girl, we're horrible. <laughs> we're what? Horrible, honey. We are horrible. Mm. I was like, oh. I was like, okay, girlfriend. On this season of Real Life and Music, not only are the tracks hitting, but the cast as well. Reach me by railway. You can reach me by trail away. You can reach me on airplane. You can reach me with your mind. The talent and drama are at an all time high. But don't disrespect me by grabbing my ass and my dick. Never, in front of my family, and that we don't, we don't, we not cool like that. It's a performance. You didn't ask me to get my consent. I don't get to nobody touch me permission when I'm at any club. With egos and reputations at stake, anything can happen. That shit be for camera, Christy. That shit be for camera. What's up? Come on. What's up? Come on. What's up? Come on. What's up? What's up? Let us know. What's Come up? Let us know. Let us know. Anyone can get it, and everyone is a villain. Win the race, you a steady pace, pretty little bitch. Look at the face, oh, where's the waist? No was a lies, straight to the face, not even behind the face. No matter what you do, that shit will get you laced, little bitch.
This sound like a poppy beat, so yes, I had to write this. Since we hear R.I.P. the goat, every song he drops, no pop, and no one around me. Okay. Today we're meeting up, um, I think it's a church that we're meeting up in, but we're gonna do some um, community service work today. We're gonna be um, building bags for the holiday, for Thanksgiving, giving back to. Um, giving back to the people in the community. So today, it's a, it's a couple of us that are meeting up to, you know, go and fill bags, um, to show that like, you know, during this holiday season, like we care about the people and, you know, we're just trying to do a good deed to show people that, you know, we're about giving back. We're really like putting in the philanthropy work. And um, yeah, so we linking up today to, to give back to the people in ATL. Since the season of Thanksgiving, uh, the girls and I are at a food pantry at a church, and we are out here building bags for um, family that needs food for Thanksgiving. Um, Nara's there, I'm there, Tom one, and I think Marison is there as well. And we was just there uh, catching up, filling bags up, and whatever and whatnot. We were um, all coming together, picking peppers, like uh, Piper, and Apollo showed up, and he said that he's going to remove himself from the group due to negativity um, that has come about. He's saying that, oh, he can't deal with the drama, uh, he can't, which, which is something that he signed up for. And I feel like he used us. He used us to try to paint himself as this holier than thou. I'm trying to come and then just exit as soon as he get his moment. But then yet you arguing with me on camera talking about, I don't want your real Apollo to come out. Girl, you did not accomplish anything. So you know. my altercation yeah. triggered yeah. him. <laughs> And an old have a relapse, right? Because the last time that he got into a fight, he was on it the floor. It was the relapse for me. He was on the floor, and his head went through the wall. I understand. Me too. I was like, did it trigger you? When did you? When did? When did the change come about, though? Like, was it before the rooftop? After the rooftop? Before Bulldog? Well, it was more so about you. It was more so about you. Yeah, because y'all shaded him. You shaded him about his I didn't shade him about anything. <laughs> I, I hate it. I do. No one's booking you to preach. No one's booking you to preach. Because you definitely seemed like you was shooting up that day, too. But we won't get into that. But that's why I felt like, girl, you didn't need to know that somebody, this wolf and sheep clothes, there are people on the pulpit every day on the pulpit every day that are preaching the word and all this kind of stuff but and everything but they in the back, back of the pulpit sucking dick molesting little boys having relationships with under uh, they doing all kinds of shit some of the most evil people you have already you find in church in what i said are you put up all of that category He's definitely sucking dick. I don't know if he, if he, if he I don't know what he doing. Y'all jumped that man out. John. Yeah. Girl, stop. Y'all did. Y'all jumped that man. John. Yeah. First of all, no, nobody jumped him. Y'all jumped him. Give no, a collaboration. It was not given collaboration. I pushed him first, and he did not. Collaboration. He did not. He did not swing back before I before I could even like turn around. All I saw was Cordell on him. And at that point, like, I just, I'm not sure. It was like a moment. We was on him at the time. No, he wasn't. Nah, don't let him lose you. Nah, don't let him lose you. Don't let the devil use you. Come on now. Don't let the devil use you. Don't let the devil use you. Don't let the devil use you. Come on. I felt like him and Cordell shouldn't have put their hands on a belief. Um, I felt like the view was going to view that as a jumping ordeal and not a one-on-one -on -one situation. And I understand why Nard put his hand on Malik, but I don't feel like both of them should have attacked Malik at the same time. 
even though like, he attempted relationship at the same time. However, doing one on one, tag team the bitch if need be, but not at the same time. Once all this comes out, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of deals. Yeah. So, um, it's better, it's better to have the communication now. So we just don't yeah, go like how to like how we gonna do it, like deal with it. We are saying Jay Z. No, 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 no questions. <laughs> uh, we did, what we did. If you don't like it, that's it. <laughs> I just want to have a conversation with him about everything that has transpired with over the like last month or so with us getting to the whole altercation at the park, how he feels about it. I feel like people are going to try to portray the fact that like we jump Malik. No, don't let him use you. No, don't no. let him use you. Put down. Put down. For me, I don't feel like we jumped him. I don't feel like Absolutely. you spoke on two different individuals, but collectively we're one. I felt like he didn't want to to get involved. I felt like he tried to stay out of it as much as he possibly could. Um, and I think, like I said, we just got down to that last straw where he just felt like. He, he felt tried, like I did. He felt tried. I thought he was like gonna push me back or like run up or something, no, and he did it. And that's when I like just saw you at the point of my eyes, just run past and just start like swinging on him. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is really happening. At this point, I really don't give a fuck about what people have to say about it or how they feel about it. Um, I just think at this point, what's the, the main focus is to like, Focus on moving forward and focus on our relationship and focus on like where we're going where we're going next. Um, not who who's gonna like us or who's gonna call us bully or who's gonna be like, oh they jumped him and they, they did this. Like we're we're not gonna focus on that. So all the comments and everything that you guys have to say, I really don't care about it.